Uh, one, one college football note. Let's talk about the situation at San Diego State. Uh, they're going to hit the reset button here. Brady Hoke is going to try to fix his offense. Uh, hiring, firing, and retiring. Those are the three words up in Montezuma Mesa this week. San Diego State has lost veteran coach Jeff Horton. He's announced his retirement. Longtime uh, offensive coordinator, longtime running back coach. He's announced his retirement. Ryan Lindley has been elevated. Uh, came in as quarterback coach at midseason when they had the shakeup last year. He has now been named the offensive coordinator, so he'll continue to work with quarterback Jalen Maiden. Uh, they have fired their wide receiver coach, Hunky Cooper. Uh, there's a wide variety of reasons why that probably happened. Uh, they were concerned that the message had gotten stale. They were concerned that he was very unhappy with the play calling and second-guessed Jeff Heklinski along the way. So there's a whole bunch of things going on there uh, with San Diego State. So as as we sit here on our podcast Thursday, Aztecs need an offensive coordinator, need a quarterback coach, need a running back coach, and need a wide receiver coach, and need a defensive line coach because Justin Ina has gone home to take a job on the BYU staff. So Brady's hitting the reset button. He's got some tough decisions to make. Better make the right decisions. Sounds a little bit like what Sean McVay is going to be dealing with. But the, the the outpouring of love for the wide receiver coach, Cooper, online and social media was really strong. A lot of current and former players really standing up for the guy. So, yeah, I want to learn a little more about how all that went down. But, um, you know, Hoke has to make some changes um, and I, it's kind of it's a neat story, you know, to to see the former quarterback come in as the offensive coordinator. And it's, you know, when he came on board, suddenly, you know, Jalen Maiden was a lot more productive as quarterback. Yeah. And he's a smart guy. I mean, he threw for over 12,000 yards. He kind of rewrote the Aztec football record book. And San Diego State's had a history of a lot of really good quarterbacks going back in lineage to the Don Coriel Division II era. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Ryan, Lin Ryan Lindley has earned this. And the other thing is he went back after his NFL career was over. He, he played four years in the league as a backup and got hurt. Uh, he went back to graduate school and he got his degree. He got his master's degree. And then he went out and, and he's learned from three different teams, offense and defense. I mean, he was with Mike Leach at Mississippi State when the phone call came. Would you consider coming home here and be our quarterback coach? And Mike Leach let him out of his deal uh, to go. And of course, before that, he was with Cleveland Browns. So, He's he's kind of earned this opportunity. Good kid, smart guy. So we'll we'll see where this goes. And sidebar note, I, I have to tell you this funny story. You know where I went to school? Ohio, oh yeah, Ohio University. Right. The Ohio Bobcats. Bobcats. Our colors Bob, are green and white. Bobcats. San Diego State has just signed a contract to play Ohio University opening game of the season this fall, Snapdragon Stadium. Oh, that must have just broke that news. That so. Do you think I should wear my Ohio U hoodie to one of Brady Hoke's press conferences? Yeah, I think you should do it. Just show up one one weekend and, and kind of blow his mind. As much as I like the coach, as much as I have respect for the football program and <laughs> wanted to see do good, blood is thicker than water, and I think I'll be wearing green and white the weekend the Aztecs play my Ohio Bobcats. Okay, before we move on, other topics on the table.